Good day, learners! Welcome to Module 1 of Arts, third quarter about neoclassical paintings and artists. Here are the objectives for today's lesson. 1. Identifies neoclassical artists and the distinct characteristics of their famous artworks. 2. Illustrates an artwork applying the elements and principles following the art styles from the neoclassicism. And 3. Expresses the significant values of different art styles of the representative artist from the neoclassicism. Let's start with the pretest. Here, you have to read the statements, write true if the statement is correct, and false if the statement is untrue. 1. The word neoclassic came from the Greek word neos, meaning new, and the Latin word classicus, true or false. The correct answer is true. 2. Jacques-Louis David is a renowned French artist whose paintings were into nudes, portraits, and mythological creatures. True or false? The correct answer is false. 3. Napoleon Crossing the Alps is an artwork of Jack Louis David. True or false? The correct answer is true. 4. Jean Auguste Dominique Ingres was a student of J. David. True or false? The correct answer is true. 5. Jack Louis David was regarded as one of the finest old masters of his era. True or false? The correct answer is false. Now, let's have a review on our previous lesson. Please name the title and artist of the following artworks. 1. What is the title of this artwork and who made this artwork? Very good! This is Mona Lisa, painted by Leonardo da Vinci. 2. What is the title of this artwork and who made this artwork? Good job! This is Piera, sculptured by Michelangelo Bonarotti. 3. What is the title of this artwork and who made this artwork? That's right! This is the portrait of Helene Forment painted by Rubens. 4. What is the title of this artwork and who made this artwork? Wow! Very good! This is the transfiguration made by Raffaello. 5. What is the title of this artwork and who made this artwork? Good job! This is David, made by Donatello. Now, let's move on and discuss about Neoclassicism from 1780 to 1840. Did you know that the word Neoclassic came from the Greek word Neos meaning new? And the Latin word Classicus which is similar in meaning to the English phrase first class. Neoclassicism is a renewed interest in classical ideals and forms that influence Europeans and Americans. It also refers to the art forms created after but inspired from the ancient times. Here are the characteristics of neoclassical arts. The portrayal of Roman history, emphasis on mythology, formal compositions, Use of diagonals to show peak of emotion or movement. Use of local colors. Overall lighting and classic geostructure. Now, let us know some of the famous neoclassical paintings and artists. Let us first get to know Jacques Louis David. Jacques Louis David was an influential French painter in the neoclassical style and considered to be the preeminent painter of the era. His subjects of painting were more on history. Here are the famous artworks of Jacques Louis David. 
we have The Death of Marat. So this is David's masterpiece that shows the portrayal of a revolutionary martyr. This is a painting of the murdered French revolutionary leader Jean-Paul Marat. Next is the painting called Napoleon Crossing the Alps. This is the painting that showed the strongly idealized view of the real crossing that Napoleon and his army made across the Alps through the Great St. Bernard Pass in May 1800s. Next we have the Oath of the Horati. This is a large painting that depicts a scene from a Roman legend about the dispute between Rome and Alba Longa. The three brothers, all of whom disappear willing to sacrifice their lives for the good of Rome, are shown saluting their father who holds their swords out for them. Now, let's go over to Jean August Dominic Ingres' works. Ingres was a pupil of Jack Louis David. He was influenced by Italian Renaissance painters like Raphael, Nicolas Posin, Botticelli, and his mentor Jack Louis David. His paintings were usually nudes, portraits, and mythological themes. He was regarded as one of the great exemplars of academic art and one of the finest old masters of this era. Here are the famous artworks of Jean August Dominic Ingres. So we have here the portrait of Napoleon on the imperial throne. This painting depicts Napoleon in his decadent coronation costume, seated upon his golden encrusted throne, hand resting upon smooth ivory balls. During his reign, the painting was owned by the corpse legislative which was part of French legislature. The painting was believed to be commissioned by Napoleon as king of Italy. Next we have the apotheosis of Homer. This painting was state commissioned by Charles X, who have him remembered in the building works of the Louvre. The painting depicts an image of Homer receiving all the brilliant men of Rome, Greece, and contemporary arts. Now that we have finished our lesson, let's test your knowledge and have activities. For your first activity, list down five distinct characteristics of the given paintings of Jacques Louis David. You can also watch a short clip about neoclassicism in this link. What is the painting's title and what are its characteristics? For your next activity, we have here your art production. Paint an artwork in the style of neoclassicism with subjects or themes that are inspired with the current issues in the Philippines. Here are the materials that you'll be needing for this activity. Oslo or band paper brush and watercolor or poster paint and this is how you will be graded for your work quality of work visual impact punctuality and neatness make sure that you'll meet all these standards to secure a good mark for your activity now let's do the wrap-up Please look at the table on the slide and understand neoclassical arts further. Elements, we have values, follows order and solemnity. 
inspiration, classical Rome, patriotism, courage, and honor. Tone, calm, rational. Subjects, Greek and Roman history. Technique, he stressed drawing with lines, not color, no traces of brush strokes. Role of art, morally uplifting, inspirational. Composition, structured, rigid, most figures in foreground. Lines, linear style, outlines are sharply defined through controlled brush strokes. Texture, smooth, no brush strokes can be seen. Now let's ponder upon this question. Why do you think that there is a need to value the artwork and art movements from the past eras? For your last activity, let's have a post test. Choose the letter with the correct answer. You will be given 5 seconds to think of the correct answer. 1. A Western movement in decorative and visual art. A. Byzantine B. Medieval C. Neoclassicism D. Romanticism The correct answer is C. Neoclassicism 2. An influential French painter whose subjects of paintings were more on history. A. Jean Auguste Ingres, B. Jack Louis David, C. James Renrick, D. Jean Paul Marat. The correct answer is B. Jack Louis David. 3. Below are the characteristics of neoclassicism except A. Heightened sensation, life and death movements B. Use of diagonal to show peak of an emotion or movement C. Roman and Greek history D. Emphasis on formal compositions The correct answer is A. Heightened sensation, life and death movement. 4. A painting shows willingness to sacrifice for the good of their country. A. The death of Marat. B. Napoleon crossing the Alps. C. Oath of the Horati. D. The apotheosis of Homer. The correct answer is C, Oath of the Horati. 5. What moral message does a neoclassical painting is trying to convey? A. Care for nature B. Strong religious belief C. Love, passion D. Self-sacrifice, patriotism The correct answer is D, self-sacrifice and patriotism. So that's it for today. I hope you learned a lot from our lesson today. Thank you for watching.